minus the sum of the x's times the sum of the y's divided by n times the sum of the x squared terms minus the sum of the x's all to be squared. So in our case here, we have b is equal to n. There's 10 paired observations, so it's 10 times the sum of the xy's is 254 minus the sum of the x's, which is 45 times the sum of the y's, which is 48. And that needs to be divided by n, which is 10 times the sum of the x squared terms, which is 257 minus the sum of the x terms, which is 45 which needs to be squared. So using our calculator here, our B value is going to be equal to, let me just do that here, it's 10 times 254 is 2540 minus 45 times 48 gives us a numerator of approximately of 380. So we have 380 here, okay? And that needs to be divided by 10 times 257 uh, minus 45 squared. So it's 2570 minus 45 squared gives us a value of 545. And we've seen that in our previous video, them two values, because them two values are actually this particular numerator and this part of the denominator here. Okay? So let's just keep them in mind. Whoops, I'm about to drop something there on the floor. So let's just keep them in mind and let's just work on. So when I do the division here, I end up with 380 divided by 545 gives us a value of approximately equal to 0 0.69. So it's 0 0.697, okay, oh, 6697, okay. So it's 0 0.697 uh, is the slope of this best fit line, okay. What about the y-intercept? Where does the line intersect the y-axis, okay? Well, we also have where, where y, sorry, where a, our, our, our intercept, is equal to the sum of the y's divided by n, minus the b value, the slope that we've just calculated, times the sum of the x's divided by n. So that tells us then that a is equal to the sum of the y's is 48. That needs to be divided by the sample size. The number of paired observations is 10, minus the b value, which is 0 0.697, times the sum of the x's, which is 45, which needs to be divided also by 10, the sample size. So when we do that, we end up with a value of, it's 48 divided by 10, gives us a value, okay? And what I need to do is take away from that uh, 0 0.697 multiplied by 45, okay? Uh, which needs to be divided by 10, divide that by 10, which gives us a value of 1.6635. So it's equal to 1.66 to two decimal places, okay? So that's it. That's how we calculate our regression uh, line. Okay, it's actually straightforward enough. So what we know now is this: is that we know that the y, the dependent value, is equal to a. It's equal to 1.66 minus, or sorry, plus the b value. So it's plus 0 0.697 times our x's. Okay, that's the actual mathematical relationship between our x's and our y's, okay? That is the equation of this line that goes through this particular data set. It's the line of best fit. It's the line that minimizes the squared distances that the observations are away from this fictitious line. Well, we've just calculated this fictitious line and this is what it is here. So what does this really tell us? So it's interpretation, interpretation, okay? when we look at it from a slope perspective, okay? So the slope, the slope of the line, uh, symbolized by B, is 0 0.697. So what does it tell us? It tells us, well, it tells us this. It says, really, one unit increase in our independent variable, one unit of increase in our independent variable will result in an increase of 0 0.697 units in our dependent variable, okay? That's what that's telling us. And it's also telling us that it intersects at 1.66. Now, from a graph perspective, you've seen here this blue line that I put on this data set earlier on. I didn't know what the line of best fit was, okay? This is actually overestimating, if that makes sense, okay? So from a line of best fit perspective, I'll use, I'll use a red marker this time. We know that the line goes through 1.66. 1.66 seems to be in around here, okay? And it says that if if the slope is 0 0.697, okay? Which says that if I increase by, if I go up by one unit, okay? If my x value changes by one unit, there you go, okay? 
Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rise up by 0.697 units. So, in other words, I'm going to rise up by half of one of these particular units here. Half of one of them, okay? So, I'm going to go up to around... I'm going to go up to around here. Now, this is obviously... I'm not doing this on graph paper. But this here, between them two points here, would be my equation, would be my line of best fit. And it's probably hard to see it here because my dots are very big. What that's saying here is this, is that the line of best fit through this particular data set would actually be that particular line there. It's that red line here that minimizes the distance that the observations are away from the line, okay? It is this red line here that we're actually really, that we're really, really interested in, okay? And this particular red line here is what's known as a regression line, okay? Okay, guys, uh, once again, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And I hope that this particular video, uh, which uh, which was the video uh, trying to where we attempted to calculate a simple linear regression model, okay, I hope that this was in some way intuitive. And more importantly, I hope that was helpful for you. Okay, And thank you for watching. Okay, bye-bye.